Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. Hello, I'm, I'm Darius Torana. Because it is. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. Great job you and did. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4 and a Capture Team helicopter. All right, so this is Darius Torana, and I am here on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, I'm going to do a couple of these missions to get myself acquainted with the controls, and then we're going to move on to doing a more narrative experience. Um, is that a giant spider? Sorry, there's a bug on my wall. Um, we're going to do a more narrative experience after that. Um, but uh, it's been quite a long time since I've played this game. So I need to remember how to do so. Um, so we've got $3 million at the moment. Um, operations response facility. And it wants me to build it here. So I guess I will. Ta-da! We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator. Then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. And also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does us good if it's operational. You know, she sounds like the lady who plays Starlight on uh, The Boys. I wonder if that is the case. And we need paths. I guess I only have one option for path. Also, I guess I put one in already. What have I done? Like, that's like the most monstrous looking path ever. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can track it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Capture teams. Locate priority dinosaurs in the surrounding area using the compass at the top of the screen. Approach the dinosaur and then use triangle switch to aim mode. While in aim mode, use R1 to fire. Uh, stimulant darts can be used to wake up a tranquilized dinosaur. Okay. Oh, I bet you it's that big, huge thing right there. Oh, it's a baryonyx. 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 Now. Switch to aim mode. Pew! Got him. 
He goes sleepy. This is I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? Have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Wait. Where did it go? Transport. There we go. Bree one. Heading to collect the asset. All right. Time controls. Pause or slow down time using time controls um, to take stock at important moments or plan out my facility. Accelerate time using the time controls to skip through processes such as dinosaur transportation. Moderate uses of usage of accelerated time to ensure problems in your facility don't get out of hand. There we go. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge. And perhaps opportunity. Asset transportation underway. Oh, I guess. There we go. Here he comes. Bree one. Asset delivered. I love that he's immediately awake. Ooh, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. Baryonyx, they're so cool. Show dinosaur stats. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. I can't disagree with you there. All right, so we need environment. Pescivore feeder requires shallow waters. Done. Got him. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. He's missing rocks. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, how about we add some preferred terrain to their beds instead? Better? What's up, buddy? He's big. I wonder if I can run into him. Nope. Alright, um, 
So environment, he wants rocks. Oh, he is 100% content. I did it. We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Now the question is, is it a better idea to have the ranger posts like near the gates and such or is it a better idea to have them yeah i think near the gates and add a ranger team a sign we did it i'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility claire the reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? You're not angry. You're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great, do it. Um, that's the arrival point, I need this one. So you can see up at the top, there's like a couple of uh, little things there. Boom. Oh yeah, 69. I dropped him. Where did he go? There we go. Where did he go? There he is.
I just realized I have to trank. I never actually successfully tranked that last one, did I? Whoopsie daisies. I thought I shot him twice. God, I cannot hit this guy for anything. Oh, I'm shooting him with stimulant. Whoops. So I know it wants me to finish up this one, but I just feel like it's mean to have the Triceratops directly next to the um, Baryonyx. But I don't have a lot of room either. This is like the absolute worst. Okay, and then we need power for this. There we go. And we need a pathway to it. Cool. All right. One, two, three. On route to collect the asset. All right. So let's go ahead and speed it up a bit Transit has commenced. and while that's going we are going to go back to the enclosures set up a ranger post there Delivery has been completed. and set up an environmental thing add a ranger team assign there we go. Oh my gosh, that's like my dog. Did I 
direct control, man. That's so cool. Oh, cool. I got money for the picture. I'm a tad confused. Where's the other two Triceratops? Ah, uh, that's frustrating, guys. I don't know why it didn't. Actually, can I just add a task? There we go. Let's just go ahead and crank him. Asset transportation in progress. Okay, and then transport, boom. There we go, all right. Missing ground fiber. Missing water. Confirming asset delivery. Oh, he's so excited about the water. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Okay, another one we'll do right here. There we go. Important to ensure your dinosaurs are visible to guests from buildings with visibility. Check the dinosaur visibility with the view mode to identify any gaps in your coverage. Areas around popular buildings with visibility will likely become congested with guests. Plan your park around this. Can I move it? So 
honestly... path. I love that they walked out of the range of the visibility. Did we not assign a ranger team here? What I am thinking I might need to do is have this Okay, and then demolish mode, get rid of that and that and that and that and that, okay. And then Oops. Build the fence there. Demolish mode again to get. Okay, and then we will. Facilities. There we go. Paths. There we go. With so many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. Okay, and then we need a path to it. Boom. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. All right, well, this one is terrible. Uh, only two in logistics, zero in genetics, and four in welfare. Two in logistics, one in genetics, and zero in welfare. However, increases research, cheap hire. Um, increases on last limit by four. I think that Jawara is the one for me. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, except a, maybe a new recruit. That's hard. I love it. 
Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. What kind of dinosaur is it, though? It's like the worst built thing since, you know, Jurassic Park. Whoa, that is awful. Four Stegos? Um, transport dinosaur, I guess. Honestly, I want them in with the... I feel like they do fine in with the, uh... I feel like they'll do just fine with the trikes. Let's see if this was a terrible idea. Oh shoot, one of the things was to isolate them from other dinosaurs. So I guess for right now, just to get that quest done, we'll do that. Isolated from other dinosaurs. Wait till this is done. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only you said it. All right. Um, where's my ranger team at? There we go. So they want ground fruit.
I still want more ground fruit. There's a giant water pond over here. There we go. Oh, heck. They're fighting. Attention all personnel. Our weather reports have identified an approaching sandstorm. Please await further instructions. Attention all personnel. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. If I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sad? Okay, they don't like each other. That's not good. All right, um, so we need to, we're gonna pause it real quick. I guess I should have probably checked on that before I was like, hey, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, so transport, okay. Um, first things first. Capture team, add task. We're going to go ahead and drink the Stegos. Okay. And then we need to, oh, we also need to apparently drink him. There we go, repair that fence. And emergency shelter open. There we go. I love that he's just baby guarding the emergency shelter. What a jerk. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's going to protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel? Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one, out of the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then we'll work on our safety ratings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs>
collecting asset. All right, and then we need a little water in there. And some leafy greens. There we go. Commencing asset transit. Asset to be collected. There we go. Delivery complete. Transporting asset. Asset has been collected. Asset has been delivered. Enclosure. I do need a new ranger post. Asset transportation complete. And said ranger post needs an assigned team. Oh, hey, we completed the mission in Arizona. All right. So. Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future... That was something completely different. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you did enjoy the episode, slap a like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I might do like one more campaign uh, mission of this, but after that, we're going to go into a more narrative focus thing. So thank you. And until next time, keep on surviving. <laughs>